Whoa, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, American Campaign, continuing it on in the back of build version, testing it before it goes to Steam. Um, next battle is Loggerheads. You'll see a little difference here because I had to spend about 20,000 to upgrade um, these ships uh, to get them to 510. It costs quite a bit. I'm using the junkier rifle because that's all I could afford. So at least I have all three of these uh, maxed out as far as personnel. So anyways, that's to help me in the battle. Some of these battles are getting really tough now. So, um, But that's what's known by the devs. They always make these tough games like Ultimate General Civil War and now this one. Okay, so as you know, there's a red zone here. Now what I want to do is put my best three ships right here, which will be these three. All right. All right, that tops it off. All right, the importance of this convoy is not to be underestimated. West India men are being escorted by five frigates, and it seems they have finished replenishing their water supply and are ready to set sail. We must engage them now or risk their escape, which is not an option. Our main target should be the escorts. Let the second column engage the retreat and transports. Uh, none of the reports indicated such a formal escort would be present. This battle will surely be one to remember. Yeah. Yeah, they always have to have a third rate. Boy, that is... Um, I hate those ships. Alright, well, tell you what, I'm going to send those two to engage, and then this one will go for that one. Because it looks like he's coming to attack us, and is that one too? These are the transports. Um, maybe you should go that way because you're closer, and you two go that way. Yeah, you go get this one right here. And I would like you to be on full sail. Okay, gotta slow her down now and get ready to to attack. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I was more or less watching these guys to get them pointed over that way and now he's getting free shots on me, which I don't like.
But I am going to try to take him out as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's twice, two volleys on me. That I haven't even got one volley yet, but I'll get a volley pretty soon. There we go. So like I said, um, I need to get this one quick. And he might turn off that way, so now I'm gonna have to I have to go with him. And we're gonna fire, so that's good. And he crew shock again, so that's always nice. But I have to try to get him before he fires on me. No, I thought, I mean, I had him to do that, but he didn't, you know, like somehow, like when you're clicking things, it takes it off. But anyways, okay, we should now get into position to board. Ah, oh, yes, we are. All right, that was successful. We'll drop him in there. Okay, so now we have, no, he stopped, but he's going. So oh, they're stopping to, he's probably stopped here to protect them and he's coming at me, so. I think, uh, what should I do? Let me turn, you go. All right, so now I want you to just come around the long way and go that way. Oh yeah, look at, look at this. He can hit way over here. I just stopped this one for a moment because I want him to catch up. Oh yeah, and then that frigate is going to give us a hard time too. See, I want these two to go after this one, but this frigate's going to interfere, and he's equal to this one here, and that, you know, I'm not going to be able to just go and grab him as I would like. So yeah, it's not working to my advantage at the moment, but... I wonder if he's going that way to help them now. He decided to... All right then, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this one. And I'm going after this one right here. Because if I can knock this one out...
Oh yeah, I gotta get it back down to normal speed, sorry. Yeah, so he's going to go with them now, so I think this is okay then, so then I will go after and take this guy out. I'll use this ship to try to block him, and then this ship I got to get, and then, well, let me bring this one up in here too, because if, he, if this is not a block as I wanted... Not working the way <laughs> this set, man, I'll tell you, this sometimes doesn't go the way I actually planned it to go, you know, like, I wanted to, I was hoping to T-bone him, like, block him, and look, none of my ships can, alright, well, maybe this one can board him, let's see, I gotta at least get one of these guys to start to board him, so now that he's cut down to size, maybe... Oh yeah, I'm going this way, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So now I got to bring this one down this way, and I got to bring him this way. There, darn! I, I thought if this ship was going this way, I would have been able to board him. So unfortunately, but I mean, I will get him. It's just going to be not as. Uh, swiftly as I wanted. Alright, I'm going to pause for just a moment. Because I just noticed that um, I have my reinforcements, which these are the smaller units. So, I mean, uh, let's see. We got to check. Whoops, I'm way off. Okay. Okay, here they are. Now, they are headed this way. Oh, man, the red zone's kind of close. All right. So if they get into the red zone, that ain't good for me. So I am going to have to tell these guys... And the wind's going this way, so let's see if I can... Make sure he's on full sail. This guy... I just gotta make sure that they're at full sail. Alright. So they are at full sail. I think what I will do is I will send the Glasgow that way. Repair his ship. Take that off. I will send the Glasgow that way. And this one. Take that off and send that one that way. So at least I get those two going that way. And I'll rely on this one. And he's already, he's not going to do much good. But it's got to be this ship's job to get this one. Alright, so now we're back. I mean, we're going against the wind, so it's going to be kind of...
Yeah, I'm actually a, a minus uh, knots. So I'm going to have to turn around and then I'll be able to shoot him. I mean, I probably should have kept this one on him because he's only 192. And get get this one over here because we got to take out this guy here. And I don't know if the enemy is going to get reinforcements. All those shots are missing. Alright, well now that he's turning this way, he's going to blast me and stuff. And he's been hurting my ship more than I've been hurting his, obviously, but it's just the way the AI is. Ah, so he's coming to fight us. All because, you know, the way this went, I didn't get him right away, and now I have to try to concentrate on two of these battles. Man, both of these ships are... <laughs> yeah, 
And how did that happen? Now this is not what I wanted. Oh boy. How are we doing here? All right, you gotta see. So you have to pay attention to both of these at the same. It's tough doing it this way. Like if I, if you, if I would have got this real quick, then I could have been concentrating totally on this one. And these ships overran him. But he looks like he's in shock, so I think I'll just keep it that way. I'll put this one right there. And this one over here, okay, we're finally doing the boarding. So yeah, not the, not the best way to do it, because it's hard to, can, you know, to do both, sh both uh, ships at the same time and get good results. So anyways, as soon as I get this, oh, he's killed in action. Um, yeah, I'll drop him in there. Yeah, so I got an officer killed in action. That kind of sucks. But anyways, okay, so now let's see how this is going. Well, he's he's dropping to 295. I mean, my two ships can repair themselves a little bit. I mean, I missed, you know, like he's going this way and my ships, I anchored them, but they went too far and so I couldn't initiate the board. And so now it's just gonna be a matter of trying to wear him down to where he surrenders. And meanwhile, oh, oh man, okay. I, I'm missing the boat here, see, okay. <laughs> Hey, totally. See, this is like too, uh, you know, oh man, you got to pay attention to this kind of stuff. <laughs> Jeez. So hard doing two different uh, things. So I'm just going to plant him there to shoot him and just hope that these guys, like he's really hurting this one, but he's, you know, I don't know how this is going. I, I mean, I can't, you know, I'm just going to. Forget about that for now. And now, and now we're going against the wind. Like, see if if I had resolved this stuff earlier over there, I would have been able to concentrate on setting up, like, say, right over here. All right, well, okay, so let me pause the screen for just a moment because the way I had this, he surrendered. So I'm going to drop somebody out of Glasgow. Where is Glasgow? And he's going to grab this. Like he's, I don't know if he's stuck. Um, that's why I, I got to get these ships to get moving. So he can get this ship. Because I need this ship. Before he turns back. Okay, good. We got him. Alright. Alright, so now I can get these guys going. And now I don't have to worry about that. Because, yeah, we're going against the wind and I went to protect the red zone, but the problem is I only have 200 on these ships and these have 214 and had I been able to resolve the first part of this m m phase 
this part I could have had these guys going this way and then come along this way with the wind but anyways I'm gonna see if I can get it to work so we're gonna hit this guy And this one has to do the same thing. Like if I had, you know, more numbers I would I would board them. Right now all I wanna do is try to stay with them, get them away from the red zone, and just keep pounding away at them. I think if I can keep pounding them, they will, you know, lose their numbers and they may surrender. Now that frigate is going to give me a problem. Okay, now he's a little confused. Okay, well, oh, let's see. Um, Okay, well, he's being um, a pain, so I did bring one fire ship, so I'm just going to put him out of his misery. Uh, get my ships moving because we don't want to catch on fire but yeah I mean I brought that just in case I couldn't take out a third rate that was here so but as you see I did get it so I'm gonna Yeah, okay, so that yeah, I rid myself of that problem. So now it's just a matter of 
Making sure I don't let one of these slip by. And plus, these guys that were on this ship, they live right here. Ooh, okay, we got this guy right here. Alright, nice. These guys came. Okay, so you're gonna go over here as a buffer. You're gonna come over here and get that one. Ah, oh, gee, the guy didn't get in there. Okay, um... Okay, he's gonna take that one, and then I gotta get this one moving. So he's time to, he's, he's whack at him and... Okay, well this is not go like, okay, these ships, you know, when you click, sometimes they link all the ships together and that is not what I wanted. Oh, his rudder. His rudder broke. Okay, excellent. He surrendered. So I can take the Liverpool and drop somebody out. This one I'll have go that way. 
This one I'll go that way. You take this ship over and we just gotta go get this last one now. Everybody else can chill. See, he's... I just got him here to try to block him. Because once these ships get there... And he's going to go over here just to make sure he doesn't slip past him. And I think that's all I have to do. Everybody else is just goofing around. I mean, with this one, he's got 129. I can try to board him, but I think it's better not to because, you know, don't be fooled by they only have 105. I mean, sometimes they have certain perks or something where they could fight better. And then your ship could be the one that ends up surrendering. But I think this 165 can do it, and definitely this 340 could. So I'll, I'll just send those guys over there, just in case. Now, he's going a little faster, so I'm going to have to stop him. And then I'll use this ship to board him. And this should come to an end. Oh, he surrendered, so I think that will be it. I don't have to board him now, because the game will end. Yep, okay. Alright, folks, you saw it. That's the way I did it. I mean, I'm not the best player, but hey, it worked. It, it's kind of like an even fight, even though they had a third rate, and I don't have any third rates. So, But I captured their third rate, which normally I don't. I usually just put them on fire so just the way it worked out now fleet retreat says X because we didn't have to we eliminated the enemy this is a report of all the ships so if you want to pause the screen and look at that you may and a sub lieutenant got deceased oh well I mean that's just the way it is I lost an officer and the rest of the guys got a promotion you can look at that if you want and here's the goods now here was the this is the key to this particular battle if you don't destroy these ships the transports you know you get this money like divide this in three and that's how much you get per ship so it was very vital to stop them from getting into the red zone and not destroying them, but capturing them. And, and then here, you can see that I got the Romulus. That's a 68 gun ship, and I got a 44 gun ship, and I got a 48 gun ship. So, um, you know, so, so I have to be uh, pleased with that. Because this is the first time that I captured a, a third rate, I think. In this particular campaign I don't think I've captured any of, of whenever I face them they're too hard and I just you know put them on fire but in this particular battle um, it worked out and that was loggerheads And we have 17,000. Not much. I mean, that's not a lot of money, but whatever. And this tells you about the battle. If you want to pause the screen, you may. Oh, 
All right, well, again, there's so many good things to put in here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I want to try to, you know, survival of the officers. I mean, you know, when you lose an officer, it costs a lot of money to replace one. And you invest a lot into an officer throughout the campaign, then you lose him. So this is going to give me a 15% chance that the officer will be wounded instead of dying I mean it's only you know it's only 15% but hey it's you know that's that's you know better the tech well you know I'd like to have some stuff but at the moment I have to be concerned with my ships 500 13 351 That's that All right, so you can see this uh, Romulus is a third-rate ardent class But I don't have, you know, any whatever to do it, so I'm going to look at my ships. That's, that's adequate. Uh, you know, that's good. Yeah, we lost some. This is probably where the officer died. So I have this guy in the reserves. So I'll just dump him there for now. And, you know, 382 is good, so I don't have to do much. And Dennis. Um, so Dennis and Liverpool. All right, well, that's going to cost me a rep, and I'm not going to do it. So, all right, what, what I'm going to do, folks, is, like I said, no one has ever said that they enjoy watching me do this. So I'm going to, uh, for now, until you tell me that you really enjoy that, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm good, and I'm going to save it. Because, yeah, um, I think I did pretty good, and I'm going to go ahead and call it here, so... I want to thank you for watching. Like I said, you can leave me your comments if you like certain things or not. But anyways, I want everybody in the world to be safe. Make sure you wash your hands uh, whenever you go out into public and bring sanitizer and stuff. And so that way, if you touch people or touch things, you know, you can wash your hands. Don't use your hands to touch your or your fingers to touch your eyes, your nose, your mouth until you wash your hands. And I want everybody in the world to be safe. So take care of yourselves. God bless you in um, your own religion. Have a good day or a good evening. This is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.